Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is the weekend, so let's do the whole doggone thing. Holy cow. A lot of stuff. Saturday, May the 6th, the National Play Outside Day, International No Diet Day, National Fitness Day, Kentucky Derby Day, Free Comic Book Day, National Bombshells Day, National Start Seeing Monarchs Day, Join Hands Day, National Crepe Suzette Day, National Beverage Day, National Nurse Day, National Homebrew Day, and National Scrapbook Day. <gasps> I like the whole no diet day thing. Yeah. Sunday, the 7th of May, National Tourism Day, National Package Design Day, National Barrier Awareness Day, Lemonade Day, Roast Leg of Lamb Day, National Paste Up Day, and National Infertility Survival Day. All of those things happening this weekend. And guess what? What? I've got some guests joining me. Not one, but two. Uh, Nate Sherman and Nick Vaki. they are the folks that are the writers of a new show called Fired on Mars. And it's about, it's an animated thing where a person is uh, sent to Mars and then they lose their job and they're fired and they're like, okay, now I'm stuck on Mars. So oh. it's a very, very funny concept and we'll chat with them all about that coming up. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Survey said the average little kid will watch his or her favorite movie over 244 times before giving up. That's a lot. And so will the average adult. But I, I was going to say, when our son was just a little boy, Toy Story. And it would get done, and he would stop it, and we'd watch it again. And this is when it was VHS tapes. The tape was worn out. It'd be, you've got a friend, you got a friend in me. Remember that? Oh, yeah. But when we would watch that movie with Troy, we would end up watching over and oh, over all and the over. time. But yeah. we also do that with our favorite movies. Yes, too. we do. How many times we oh, yeah. watch certain movies? Dozens of times, for sure. Maybe even more than dozens. So it's not just kids, but it was kids that they had in the survey. All right. Surveys and studies and such come your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Did you know? Brought to you by GenesisGoldIRA.com. Heidi, did you know COVID-sniffing dogs can help detect infections in schools? A new study suggests by simply smelling ankles and feet, canines are already being used to screen for COVID infections in sports venues, airports, and other public settings. Now, research published recently in the Journal of JAMA Pediatrics says that sniffing techniques should be incorporated in grade schools as a fun way to detect traces of the disease. It has been found that dogs alerted their handlers to infections with an accuracy rating of over 90%. So that's kind of crazy, isn't it? Yeah. If you can do that instead of that whole test. Remember, we had to do the test when we were traveling. Take this Q-tip and jam it all the way in your nose. All the way to your brain. When you feel your brain, stop. And then hand it back to me, and we'll we'll tell you how you're doing. So I remember doing that. There was a guy that uh, when we were traveling, he had to do one, and it was incorrect, and he had to do it like four times. Yeah. And he's like, I am so sick of this test. Keeps coming back like they're they're not able to do it. I have to keep doing it. I'm like, oh, yeah, so how's other than that? How's your trip going? <laughs> All right, we don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by insurancechicken.com. Michael J. Fox shared an update about his health condition, admitting that living with Parkinson's is, quote, getting tougher every day. It has been so sad to see that. CBS Sunday morning, he sat down with Jane Pauley to talk about the increased obstacles that come with the disease as he ages. The Back to the Future star said his condition is getting worse, saying you don't die from Parkinson's, you die with Parkinson's. He said, I've been thinking about the mortality of it. I'm probably not going to be 80. I'm not going to be 80, he said. And 
Comedian and Curb Your Enthusiasm actor Richard Lewis revealed recently in a social media post he also has been diagnosed with Parkinson's now. That happened two years ago was when he was diagnosed, but he just recently shared it with the world. He began his video by sharing that he was just wrapping up season 12 of Curb Your Enthusiasm a few weeks ago, expressed his gratitude for being a part of the great show, but said, the last three and a half years, I've had sort of a rocky time. He went into detail about how he had back surgery, shoulder surgery, and then in midst of that, he discovered he had Parkinson's, which Heidi's dad also yep. stru- struggles with that and suffers with that. And it has been really painful to see it's, it's the tough. changes it's in him. It's, it's a tough one. Big screen, little screen brought to you by insurancechicken.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Bed, Bath, and Beyond has filed for bankruptcy. Yeah, That's really that sad to sad. hear that. They've got some cool stuff, too. So sad to hear that. Um, next story. If a friend or coworker makes a joke at your expense or comes up with a fun insult, how should you respond? What do you think, Heidi? You laugh. Yeah. And then that's you come up you with do. something even worse to insult them with. <laughs> the problem is that... If you act as if the comment didn't offend you, that might actually turn into a repeat performance. But if you take exception, that could also turn into a serious conflict. This is where Harvard-trained etiquette expert Sarah Jane Ho comes in. Ho is not only the founder of a finishing school, she also has her own Netflix show called Mind Your Manners. And Ho says that when you, or when somebody is rude to you, you should use this three-word response. Do you know what it is, Heidi? I know you are, but what am I? No, that's way more than three <laughs> words. Otherwise, I'm sure it'd be accurate. The The answer is, are you okay? According to her, when somebody's mean to you and you say, are you okay? That signals that even if you don't take their comment personally, you didn't appreciate it. In order to not be offensive back, you should say it in a friendly way. So it sounds as though it's coming from a place of care. And that's usually enough to put the person in check. One more thing. Regardless of who made the negative comment, remember to not let it control your mood. Ho says, the greatest power is showing the other person does not have power over you. So there you go. I'm going to be saying, are you okay to Heidi a lot? (laughs) And you might have already heard this, but it's worth mentioning because when's the last time Mark Zuckerberg offered to give you money, right? A massive $725 million settlement involving Facebook parent company Meta was tentatively approved by a judge last month, paving the way for social media platform to dole out some dough to anybody that might have been affected. And there's 87 million people on that list. You have to August 25th. What, 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 What happened? Um, if you're a member of Facebook, right. then your your data has been shared with people oh. illegally. I've got a link in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Insurancechicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to insurancechicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi show. We've got not one guest today. We've got two guests today and they're working together on a new project called Fired on Mars. It's on HBO Max, but this is not the first time they've worked together. Nate Sherman and Nick Vokey have also worked together in the past on a project called Wet City, and that is an animated series for Adult Swim. And we're going to chat maybe a little bit about that, but we're also going to talk about this new series, Fired on Mars. Luke Wilson voices the main character, Jeff Cooper, who finds himself suddenly laid off from a job on the Red Planet, and he's not able to come back to Earth. And I think it's just a neat, fun idea for a, a, a program. So let's start with Nate. Nate, tell me a little bit about Fired on Mars and where this idea came from. Well, it's kind of a, an extreme encapsulation of what it feels like to be stuck in a corporate job. It's about this graphic designer, Jeff Cooper, who goes to Mars, takes this position on Mars at this colony as a graphic designer, and 
um, gets fired soon after he arrives and there's no way to get home. You know, as you can imagine, things get pretty, pretty dire when you can't leave the office and you're on another planet millions of miles away. Now, Nick, I'm assuming this is not based on a true story since we don't have people on Mars yet. Not yet. I think we can, maybe we'll see it happen sometime soon. <laughs> so now you, a couple of years. Now, you guys have worked together on some other fun projects as well. Uh, Wet City for Adult Swim. How long have the two of you worked together, Nick? Have you guys worked together for quite some time? Um, well, we've known each other since high school. So we've known each other for a couple of decades. And then we starting to, started working together maybe 10 years ago, I guess, is when we started writing and then making animated shorts. And this program, uh, Fired on Mars, HBO Max is where folks can find this. Luke Wilson is the main, the voice of the main character, Jeff Cooper. And Nate, was it uh, was it pretty fun to work with Luke Wilson on this project? It was really great to work with him. We've been big fans of his forever. And uh, he was an, he's exactly what you hope for in an actor, like a really great collaborator who makes the writing better and pitches his own great ideas and really elevates the thing. So... Uh, it was his dream come true working with the guy. And and how did you guys land on Luke Wilson? How did you de- determine that he is the voice of Jeff Cooper? Was there a process involved, or you just knew from the beginning? We just knew from the beginning. I mean, he's uh, he's that perfect every man, uh, kind of with a touch of melancholy. Uh, you know, we loved him in idiocracy. idiocracy. We loved him in um, Enlightened more recently, and uh, we we just I don't know there. It's, the character looks like him to some degree. It's like he's it, just so intertwined with this guy at this point that uh, it's hard to imagine anyone else in the role. And one of the cool things about doing an animated series like this is you can literally do things in an animated series that you can't do any other way because like this, Fired on Mars, they're living on Mars. We're not doing that yet. But in the animated world, you can kind of do anything. So, Nick, are there other fun things that you guys are kind of working on, maybe some other plans a- after this project is done? Um, well, we're, we've been really focused on Fire on Mars for obviously the past several years. And, um, and really we're thinking a lot about what we might do if the show continues on to a second season. We get to explore so much of the, of the colony, um, in the first season of Fire on Mars. And I think we'd both be really excited to build it out even more. And, and how long does it take to do an animated series like this for one season? Does it take more than a year to put that together? Or would you be able, like if they said today, we want season two, could you have it done in a year? <laughs> um, the great. first season took uh, quite a long time to do. I think we get, I'd get, I think we could get a little faster at it. I don't know if we could do it in a year, but maybe in the neighborhood of a year. And so how many seasons would you like to see? Do you feel like there's enough story to do two, three, four, five, ten seasons? How many seasons would you love to do uh, overall? I think we'd like to, you know, as long as they'll have us. We've got a lot of places to go on Mars. You'd be surprised. And they used to say the sky's the limit, but you're on Mars, so even the sky is not the limit for this, right? Exactly. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for taking some time to chat with us about the project. It looks like a whole lot of fun. I'm excited to check it out. Thank you so much. And again, nice talking to you. again, our guests today, Nate Sherman and Nick Vokey. And in addition to this program, Fired on Mars, they also work together on Wet City for Adult Swim. But the new one, Fired on Mars, starring Luke Wilson as the main character, Jeff Cooper. He's the voice of that character. Laid off from his Red Planet startup job. Now he's unemployed and unable to come back to Earth. I think it just sounds like a really fun thing. It just recently launched on HBO Max. I've got a link to all of the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. What a year. With prices on everything going up, it's more important than ever to have a better credit card. Some people use a credit card that's not a very good one. At bettercreditcards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Bettercreditcards.com. That's bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Every time you shuffle a deck of cards, you get a combination that's probably never existed. That's cool. Isn't that crazy? Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? When pitched, the average Major League Baseball rotates 15 times before being hit. Somebody had to count that. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? From a complete stop, a human is capable of outrunning a Formula One race car for about 30 feet. (laughs) <laughs> oh, interesting. I think it really depends on who that person is. Uh, don't yeah, you? I don't think I would probably. Uh... 30 feet. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Maybe 30 inches. I don't know. And our final fun fact for you, What's Heidi. What's John? What do these cities have in common? Boring Oregon, dull Scotland, and bland Australia. They're all got dull names. And they're all sister cities. Sister cities. Yeah. So these cities all like, they work together. They're like, hey, let's just do this together. Let's all be boring, dull, and bland together. (laughs) That's super. Yeah. Several fun facts. Now, you know, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. Genesis Gold IRA. IRA.com would like to help protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question, Heidi. What is the most used word that moms say to their kids? Uh, Not that. Hmm, What else? Stop it. No. Stop. No. Oh, no. The answer is no. 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 Okay. They also use that word with their husbands. <laughs> so, Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. How much do you pay for your cell phone every month? If it's more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring in your current phone. iPhones and Samsung phones both work well with Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. A drunk student has been busted for allegedly urinating on a business class passenger during a 15-hour flight from New York Holy to cow. India. Holy cow! 21-year-old was arrested uh, as he stepped off a flight after the pilot radioed ahead to warn of a disruptive customer. He was heavily intoxicated. He was repeatedly arguing with an operating crew, was not willing to be seated, and continuously endangered the safety of the crew and the aircraft. After disturbing the safety of passengers, he finally urinated on a passenger. (laughs) He told the police that he tried to go to the bathroom, but the door was locked. So why would you just go back and do... (laughs) Does that make any sense at all? Not at all. No, I'm sure about he was that. not thinking clearly. No, he w- was 21 years old. He's new at drinking, and he's just kind of figuring it out, apparently. You got a long ways to go, young man. All right, Weird News, brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Heidi used to be a travel agent. We'll see if you agree with this. It's a right. TikToker who was a flight attendant who shared all kind of advice on flying that only somebody that in the biz would know. One's like, try lifting your carry-on at home to see if you can put it in the overhead compartment. If not, you probably need to remove some stuff. Yeah. Uh, another one, Good look idea. at the placard on the airplane. It's a little diagram that tells you whether the luggage should be stored vertically or horizontally. Okay. All right. Next, ask for assistance. Although it is not the flight attendant's job to, carry your, to uh, help you with your carry-on, they might be able to help you. And some other travel tips. This is where I was thinking Heidi might be able to chime in. Always try to get a middle or aisle seat for safety purposes. Really? <laughs> Always bring a treat for the flight attendants. Really? I don't know about what? that. Yeah, this was written by a flight attendant. Always bring a little bag for your essentials in case something happens. Never travel with a purse. Use a fanny pack instead. And always wear your seatbelt, even if the seatbelt sign is off. That I agree with. All right. Anything else? You can uh, chime in. We've got a link to all of this in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Insurancechicken.com wants to know, how much are you paying for your insurance? I know it seems like a hassle to switch to a different company, but if you can save a few bucks, 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 it's worth crossing the road to insurancechicken.com. We have several of the top insurance companies trying to earn your business. They do that by offering great insurance that is cheap, cheap, cheap. Okay, enough of the silly chicken puns. It's time to get serious about saving you money on your insurance at insurance chicken.com that's insurancechicken.com now your quote of the day comes your way courtesy of insurancechicken.com this quote is from ann landers who says 
At every party, there are two kinds of people. Those who want to go home and those who don't. The trouble is, they're usually married to each other. (laughs) I agree with that completely. I want to hang out and keep chatting. Heidi's like, oh, we really got to go. We've got a babysitter. I'm like, our kids are grown and gone. I'm usually ready like three minutes after walking in the door. There are even times that we're pulling in the driveway. She's like, all right, well, we're here. We should probably get home now. (laughs) Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is amazing news. Comes your way courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. Headline, seventh grader stops school bus from crashing after driver loses consciousness. Oh, that's have you seen this super video? cool. I have not. It's made its way around the interwebs and I saw it and I was amazed. Quick thinking seventh grader in Michigan began... Uh, has been hailed as a hero for preventing his school bus from crashing when the bus driver lost consciousness. So there's a video camera like above the bus driver's head and it looks down to the bus driver. You can kind of see out the front window a little bit, but you can also see a really good shot of the door. Okay. On April 26th, the bus driver was taking students home from middle school and she began to experience some dizziness. She attempted to pull over, but didn't make it to where she had planned to park. And then she passed out the bus started to veer into oncoming traffic. That is when Dylan Reeves, middle schooler by day, superhero by night, <laughs> jumped into action. Reeves, who was seated about five rows back, jumped up from his seat, threw his backpack down, and ran to the front of the bus, grabbed the steering wheel, and brought the bus to a stop in the middle of the road. Despite the justifiable panic, Uh, It says here, in the video released by authorities, the news conference below, there's a video you can see. Reeves is taking control in this video of the steering wheel and yelling to other passengers, somebody call 911 now. And it sounded to me when I was watching it, it sounded like the other kids were combating him on that. Like, what? Why are we calling 911? He's like, call 911. So he got up and, you know, stopped the bus and he was just trying to get somebody to help. And it was like... Nobody else wanted to help, which is weird. What a little stud. Absolutely. I've got a link to the story if you'd like to read it. In the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show this weekend.